War. War never changes. In the year 1945, and 1963, and 1879, my great-great-grandfather was apparently a time traveler, serving in the US Army, and the Japanese Imperial Army, and the British Army. He wondered what the most realistic war game on Roblox was. The world awaited to hear that there was no good war game on Roblox. Because it's Roblox. Instead, something miraculous happened. Okay, so let's search up war games on the front page and see what comes up. Oh, sorry, war experiences. Because we want to experience what it's like to be in a war, right? I want to experience being tortured as a prisoner of war and see the most horrific war crimes that no human should ever see. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a uh, war simulator, Zulu war, Ugh. why? We have war, war in the Pacific, uh, role play, so it's 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 just a role play game, right? You're not you're not doing war. You're just you're just role playing it. Uh, <laughs> I, I think my favorite is a Vietnam War simulator. So if you wanted to simulate what it's like being an 18 year old sent off to uh, die a terrible death, you know what? Let's try that one. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, attention, uh, discontinued in light of a new game and many many issues. <laughs> Uh, I wonder what those issues are, but, uh, a new game, I, w I wonder what they're making, uh. Syria War Simulator. America in Iraq Simulator. Something along those lines. Okay, but I think we've been, uh, speaking about finding a game for too long, we just need to play. Because maybe it's like this, the magnum opus of Roblox games here. Like, what if it is? I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm being too judgmental, so let's just play. Let's see what this is about, right? Okay, we're in. Uh, Welcome to Vietnam War Simulator. I, I I like this uh this opening screen. This makes it a uh, very intense. Okay, so we start off with a uh, M1911 pistol. <laughs> I like this running animation. It's very cool. Uh, you know, just uh rolling up to Vietnam. All right, you know, let's just go in the helicopter. Let's see what let's see what this is about. What <laughs> what was that? I I didn't even get in. I just kind of plopped in the same place, but it looks like we're in Vietnam, and Vietnam's a lot different than I remember. Alright, so, uh, what do I do in Vietnam? Uh, am I just supposed to look for Viet Cong? Is this, is this the point of the game? Is it a tower defense game? Is it a role play? Well, I have a pistol, so I'm guessing I, I shoot something. They might be in the trees. I think it ruled out that possibility. Alright, where are they? Oh, I think I see them. Oh, someone! I got unsp I've been spotted! I've been spotted! Okay, back, back, back! Oh, I just got money. It looks like I I killed someone. Okay, we need to we need to implement guerrilla guerrilla warfare here, right? Uh, we're, oh, what? What? They're in the houses! They're in the huts! Okay, and I don't even think we're shooting Viet Cong here. We're just shooting civilians. I I suppose that's what the uh, the Vietnam War was about then, right? I wonder how much extensive research went into this game before um, its uh, development to get the most accurate Vietnam experience. Cause look at this guy, right? The the, the Vietnamese people just kind of come up to you, and you know the Americans shoot them. You get a little cash, you know. Lyndon B. Johnson gives you a little 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 check. And you're on your way. Okay, now this is just this is just absurd. You know, I think this is definitely uh, an accurate Vietnam experience. Oh my God, I just got swarmed. Okay, I get it. I get the premise of this game. It's uh, it's like a zombie game. It's a, it's like a tower defense game. You're supposed to defend your turf against uh, the Viet Cong or innocent civilians or something. Yeah, because we can see we have the teams. Um, these are the the sides that fought in the Vietnam War. We have the the U.S. Army and uh, the U.S. Army. Yeah. So I, I don't think this game <laughs> takes into account that. This war was fought by two two fronts, I mean, or two people. So, what are we teaching our youth with this game? Any, any, any history behind it? Any of the political things? Any of the, the, the culture behind the Vietnam War? Or, you know, maybe even uh, protests or something? Uh, no, we're... It's, it's obvious. It's obvious what's going on here. The, the Viet, Vietnamese... Vietnam... Vietnamese... Vietnamese people? They're, they're, they're zombies that uh, just run towards you with guns and uh, 
you're supposed to shoot them and you get money and with that money you can buy more guns and shoot more poor civilians yeah you know i, I think i think I, I think i get the gist of this, this game Okay, surely there has to be a more realistic war game, right? Maybe one that's fought by, uh, maybe two sides of people? And as I'm scrolling through these games, I, I notice a phenomenon. Like, the second result that comes up is Zulu War, right? Which is probably referring to the, the Anglo-Zulu War. And how do I know that? Because there's a there's another one that's about the, the Anglo-Zulu War, but then you scroll down a bit and there's more. There's like three games. Four! There's four games about the Anglo-Zulu War. It's just, like, I don't get it. Was this some... This was just taught in some curriculum that I don't know about? Because, uh, you know, when it comes to war, you basically, what do you learn in history? You, you, you learn all the, you know, World War One, World War II, you, you know, the, the, the big wars, but what is the significance of the, the Anglo-Zulu War? Look, this is, there's a fifth game. Is this something I'm missing out on? Did this, like, change the course of history forever? And I guess I, I, I just never learned about it? Well, I guess I might as well try it out because, uh, obviously it has some sort of significance in the, the Roblox history. <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> look, look, okay, I, I get it. I get the historical accuracy of the game. We want, we want to be historically accurate, but, uh, I, really? <laughs> I think the difference between a war and a massacre is usually in a war you see, you know, dead people on both sides because it's very hard fought. But this, now this is something else. The Zulu War is a historical game based off the famous battle at Rourke's Drift in which a small British garrison held off overwhelming amounts of Zulu warriors attacking their camps. Uh, relive the battle and fight for survival against uh, six waves of Zulus. So, is this another zombie survival game? Like con zombies except we're shooting... We're shooting indigenous people. I mean, it, it, it's realistic, right? I, isn't, isn't, isn't that the point? If you want to play on the side of the, the British, British people, Alright, time to massacre some Zulus. See, oh, whew, I got Ice. the drip. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got the, the British drip. Okay, so, wave three. So, yeah, this is a, a zomb zombie survival game, so uh, let's, see, let's see how we play this. Everything looks realistic so far, right? It's just it's historical accuracy. Uh, again, let's see the team. So, um, defense versus, uh, yeah, again, no, um, no, we can't play the side of the other dudes because war is one-sided. What's going on over here? All right, man, let's, let's move in. I know how to shoot. I've been trained professionally. Just, oh, oh, that's messed up. Bro, come on. They got spears and we're shooting them with muskets. What do you mean? Uh, Small British army bravely fends off overwhelming amounts of Zulus. They got spears, dude. We have muskets. Okay, that's okay. You know what? Anything for the queen. I'm gonna get one of these snipes up here. All right, man. I think we have to. I think we have to retreat. <laughs> oh, oh no. Well, uh, I'm not gonna get associated with that, right? Charge! Shoot them. Ah uh, yes, the famous old war strategy, made famous by uh, the great general Hannibal. Uh, pile on top of one dude. Oh, what happened to him? Is this what war is like? These are the kinds of war games we like playing. Oh, oh no! How do I run? Get off of me! No! I like how people are creating actual like war strategies. They read Sun Tzu's Art of War and, and thought that, yes, these tactics will work in a realistic block game war. So what did this guy say? We need to create two groups, one on the left, one on the right. Okay, man. What is the plan? I need to set up a plan with these fellows. We can't just blindly shoot. That's not how anyone won wars in the past. Make two groups. I'm on it. All right. Group beta. Uh, consists of me. Bam. Okay, I think this strategy is already working in our favor in general. Uh, you stab, know what? Stab, stab. Well, that didn't work. Uh, you know what? I, I think uh, I think I've seen enough of this game. You know, I have just not been satisfied with the games I've been playing. I mean, 
they're not war games, they're, they're zombie defense games, they're tower defense games. I've played enough of tower defense games. I need something that has action. Something that will get my blood pumping. Something that will make me feel patriotic playing Roblox. And what better game to do that than a, than a role-play game? Extreme War Experience! Now that's what I like to see. Allied forces have landed on a Pacific island. Upon landing, the American forces had to fight a small force of Japanese soldiers, successfully winning the beach. However, the rest of the island has not yet been explored, and the Allied forces do not know what to expect. Ooh, my, the hairs on my arm are tingling already from the, the sound of that. Ah, yes, is that Emperor Hirohito? Emperor Hirohito. He was the, 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 the Japanese emperor during World War II. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of your work. For all uh, intents and purposes, that was a joke. I did, did not condone the actions of Imperial Japan. All right, I think we should just play. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we have the famous, uh, famous uh, landing of a uh, Japanese island. I, I forget what is it? Iwo Jima. Okay, let's see the teams. We have allies and Axis. So we we can play as both teams. This is what I like to see, so at least this is more accurate because, you know, different people play different sides. Uh, we just gotta, gotta think about what side we want to play. As an American, I, you know, I feel like I'm almost obliged to be a part of the Allies, but the Axis powers, they 20 only 27 players, uh, 28, so by my own morals in video games, I think I need to balance out these teams. So I'll, I'll sacrifice myself and I'll play Axis. Uh, Axis Charge Beach. Cool. <laughs> Where did he go? What was that? That was... Okay, you know, if the Japanese had that strategy during World War II, I think we'd all be eating sushi and konyaku and sitting crisscrossed at the dinner table floor. There's a lot going on here. And where is my gun? What is Operation uh, Hugh and Meat Shield? All right, fellas, we'll defend this island of our life. Oh, oh no, what's going on over here? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Okay, where do I get a gun? Uh, fall back? Why are we falling back? Oh, oh I think it's cuz uh, we're getting shot at. Okay, obviously I'm not I'm not doing something right. I'm, I'm gonna reset. I like how when I die I just kind of put my hand on my chest. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? At the spawn. Oh, at, at the spawn. Okay. Oh, here we go. I can drip myself out right here. So what do I need for war? Uh, yeah, that seems right. All right, I'm equipped. Now I'm ready to go to war. Fellow teammates, I'm, I'm here, your greatest soldier. I've trained for uh, two years at the uh, academy, and I'm here to fight. I think I just encountered a first uh, allied soldier. Is, is that an enemy? I don't know, how can you tell? I guess you couldn't really tell in real war either, so it's, uh, it's all accurate. Uh, I think I just shoot, right? Uh, they'll probably try to surround us. Astute call for, for Japan, for anime women. All right, and I can't see what is going on at all. It looks like these guys are just fine shooting at nothing, so uh, I guess I'll shoot at nothing. You know, I think out of the, the few games I've played, this is the most realistic by far. I applaud whoever made this game. This, this is pretty good. Hell, I shoot them. Try and stay down. Don't get shot. I like how we can see the enemy's battle plans. That's cool. Oh, maybe it's like we're, we're like intercepting their radio or something. Yeah, that, you know, that's pretty realistic. We should win. Yeah, I agree. We should win. But how are we going to win when we're just digging in for trench warfare? Well, quite literally, no one's making an advance. Allies, charge forward. We must overwhelm. Oh, they're making an advance. Oh, defend the turf, fellas. I don't think they're gonna make uh, much, much progress if we're just here shooting them. And in all honesty, none of us are gonna win if we're both just digging in for trench warfare. So you know what? I think we need to completely rethink our battle plans. I'm leaving the group. I'm going out on my own mission. I'm gonna hit them from the back so they'll never, never expect it. Okay, we're going undercover. They don't see me. They don't see me. Oh! Oh, I guess they saw me. Okay, so, you know, I think this is the most realistic war game I've played so far because it's just a stalemate. There's people shooting at each other, people telling other people to charge. No one knows what's going on, no one's listening. Uh, uh, nothing really happens, so. I think I'd give that a solid A+. Plus. That was, that was pretty good.
Alright, time to massacre some Zulus.